Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's so great to have you back. How are you feeling? How are you doing? I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. I hope you're feeling amazing, Taurus. How are you, my loves? Listen, you guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. Welcome, you guys, 2023. I'm really excited to be here. And I cannot believe you guys. I am so, so, so excited to have you here. And I just want to tell you that I am amazed. You guys, I'm beyond amazed to have you present. There's been so much growth, you guys. There's been so much changing. There has been such a, you know, we, we have been in such a state of transmutation. And also... There has been just, wow, I cannot believe you guys. There's been so, 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 so much. Taurus, okay, my dear Taurus, you guys have carried the torch, my loves. You guys have been the carrier of your lineage. You guys have really tried to lift yourselves back up. There's something here surrounding your ancestors this month, you guys, we are doing a love in general for um, January 15th through the 31st, you guys. Okay, and I just want to take a moment to just tell you that I love you, Taurus. I love you guys. Oh my gosh, I love you so, so much. And I am so excited. I'm so proud of you, Taurus. You have really made it, you guys. Wow. This is going to be the year of the rabbit, the water rabbit. So let's go ahead and tune in, you guys. I will be uploading a pick a card. So I'm really excited about that. And I also want to just tell you that um, I would love to have you like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, you guys, so you know my videos are uploaded. Also, my loves, I do have donation links below if you guys are interested. I do have my Cash App. I have my Indie Deck wish list, you guys. I have my Amazon wish list, and I have my PayPal, so yes. Super excited, you guys. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to tell me how everything is flowing in your life, you guys. I would love to hear from you. Okay, so yes. Also, if you are new to the channel, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message, you guys, and I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. And I do offer mediumship-based readings, you guys. All that information is priced down below. So yes, I'm really excited. Yes. I love you, Taurus. I love, 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 love. I absolutely love you. And yes, you guys, we're going to do a chatty video very soon. Just, you know, um, in general, okay? I just want to see how everyone is doing. I just want to make sure we're all in a good space. You guys, thank you for your comments. All of the comments that have been negative, positive, they're all wonderful. Let me know how you are feeling below. So yes, you guys, I will be improving um, in terms of um, the channel. Okay, excuse me. I, I'm adding a few new things to the channel. I will have chatty videos up. I will have new zodiacs. I'm thinking about getting my oracle deck, you guys, and I'm really excited about that. So shall we? Let's do it, you guys. Let's see. My dear Taurus, please don't forget to comment below. Okay, let me know what's going on in your world, you guys. What's happening how everything is, is moving ahead for you, Taurus. There is a strong ninth house placement for you, my loves. We have the ninth house, Jupiter. Okay, we do have Jupiter. 
abundance. You guys, we have spiritual travel. Taurus, this month, listen, the end of the month as we move into Aquarius season, a lot of you guys, there's something around how much you are carrying this week, you guys. There's so much around your life, Taurus. You have been the sacred right, Taurus. You are the sacred passage. You are wisdom. You guys are sages. You guys are very, very mature. There's something about your spiritual maturity or even your enlightenment this week, okay? I want you guys to really tune into the earth element. It's really pulling you up to help you understand what's happening with your environment, okay? So we do have generous energy, you guys. Yes. Just take a look here. Okay, my dear Taurus. Grapefruit in reverse. Some of you may be kind of sobering up, you guys, or you're coming out of something very dark. I am having a vision of a lot of you guys really announcing something different or something new here. With the number five, religion, we have faith, we have philosophies. Okay. There's something around cycles here, constant cycling or constant uh, change around um, the wheel, okay? You guys may be in a state of creative thinking. You guys are in a place of really kind of kind of tuning into your, your home life, you guys. I do see a lot around home during this time. We do have your fourth house here, Okay. We do have your fourth house, we have your roots, we have mother, okay, we have kin here. Listen, Taurus, Aquarius season, it's making something tough for you to walk away from. Some of you guys may not walk, want to walk away from something, okay? I do see there's been a bit of denial or you're, you're kind of turning the other way. In my vision, my, my bulls, you guys, you have really, really, really... Um, sort of, you know, grounded your feet into an idea. But is it true, Taurus? Is it true? I do see threads here from the past. You have karmic energy here, you guys, the end of the month. Twelfth house in Aquarius for some of you. You guys are dealing with Aquarian energy, closing major cycles around Aquarius. Okay. And I do see this, this feeling of freedom, you guys, at the cost of someone else. Please make sure, Taurus, okay, for Aquarius season, you remain balanced, generous energy in reverse. Okay, where is your heart, Taurus? You guys are the most generous. You guys are the most loving. You guys are the most, most, most caring people, you guys. Okay. But there's something about this month, Taurus. Okay, some of you are treading water. There's so much water around you, you guys. Okay, take note of the environment, the people you're around. If you guys are starting a new business, some of you guys are starting something new and you may be around um, people who are constantly... Um, Maybe even provoking some kind of fear. You feel as if, am I going to get ahead? Do I have enough time? Why are people not supporting me? Okay. This color is also very symbolic for your root chakra. Okay. So this is about your I am. This is about I belong. Okay. Who I am in this world. Okay. Wow, you guys. Some of you are coming out with an article or a book. There's something around being very busy around writing. Listen, your words, okay? Your words really weigh heavy this month, you guys. Pay attention to your words or pay attention to even the way you're responding to people. I do see people are holding you accountable or they're being very, very straightforward about communication. Okay, someone here wants your time, they want your energy, they want your, you know, they, they want something from you. They're saying, can you make time for me or can you speak to me differently? Okay, so listen, you guys.
please cleanse Taurus your eyes maybe even your eyes need some kind of cleansing during this time or there's something around the eyes here the way you see okay my loves okay let's see you guys Taurus what is hidden my loves 12th house okay this is the house of secrets the house of mystery also the house of who we are. Okay. So let's see, you guys. We have the moon, flow and cycle in reverse. Okay. Yes, you guys, we have half a crescent moon here. Pay attention to what's being said. Okay. Some of you are not paying attention to your intuition or you feel as if I don't have to listen. I don't have to pay attention to my intuition. I don't really want to tune into my spirituality or my faith during this time. Some of you may be at war in terms of your faith. Okay? Or there's something around your belief systems. Okay, Taurus, it's really important. Listen, the moon is really pulling you in, okay? And there's something around prayer. Okay, or there's something around the way you pray, the way you pray to others, or the way you invoke this month. If you guys are manifesting something, or you are, um, you know, co-creating here, you're uh, doing any kind of spell work around the moon, please pay attention, you guys, to the words that you're speaking into existence as well. Okay, my angels. Wow. This is also about fertility, okay? If you guys are starting something new or there's something here around the moon, you guys, you want to start something completely brand new, okay? There's something beautiful here. The moon will guide you, you guys. Write something out. Write some kind of manifestation list or write something that really, really amplifies a lot of your feminine energy. I do see your spirit guides are waiting. Okay, or your deities are waiting. They want to understand what it is that you want. This is a perfect time for a petition, you guys, if you guys are working with the moon. Okay. So you do have 102 here. Closure of a cycle. Okay, let's see, you guys. Yeah, we have dark and reverse. Listen, you guys, pay attention to your dreams. Some of you may be turning your back on your dreams during this time, but your dreams are actually showing you what's happening. Okay, my dear Tauruses? There's this beautiful, beautiful embodiment, you guys, of I was dark and now I am light, or I was light, now I am dark. There's duality here. Maybe there's some shame here this month. Aquarius season, listen, Aquarius will really bring out the best qualities in you, Taurus, okay? But it also brings out a lot of your past. So Aquarius is also one of those signs that we can't quite come out of, you know, this, we can't really lie to an Aquarius, okay? We cannot lie to an Aquarius, we cannot necessarily hide from an Aquarian, okay? So listen, pay attention, you guys, to your dreams. There's something that you guys may not be able to see this month, okay? The duality of dark. This is where you are learning how to heal. This is where you are leaving your pain, or this is where you are leaving your past, okay? There's also the act of just closing your eyes for one second, Taurus. You guys have been so busy. Or your mind has been restless. Okay. There's something around anxiety as well. Maybe just closing your eyes for one second. Okay, I'm thinking about your life. Uh, reflecting upon what's happening around you. I do see people reaching for your love. They're, they're reaching to complete a major cycle with you. Okay. 
there's secrets here from a Sagittarius, you guys. You will hear about some kind of secret or a Leo or an Aries. Something that you wanted answers to, it's coming to you, okay? But it's important to see it. Some of you, I don't know why there's been so much around not being able to see or not wanting to see people for who they are, which I understand. You guys are amazing, okay? You guys would give your last dollar in the right circumstance, okay? But listen. Do not let the past hold you back, Taurus. Do not let the past hold you accountable to something that is no longer existent. Okay? You have someone here, there's a fire sign here who's keeping you bound to some kind of verbal contract. Okay, Taurus, or there's some kind of contract around words. Pay attention to what's happening in terms of the way you're, maybe even this person is treating this relationship or the way you're treating it, you guys. I, I do see a lot of mirroring here. This could be someone at work or this could just be an event, you guys. Okay, so let's see. Let's see my love's general theme here. Yes, we have the Five of Cups. My dear Tauruses, look at this. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, you guys, look at your theme. There's some kind of past here, Taurus. A lot of you are still holding on to an event, May 25th. Okay, May 25th is significant here. These numbers are resurfacing some kind of pain, you guys. Okay, and I also see just a lot of memories. Okay, my Taurus says, it's almost as if you're saying, okay, it's time, it's time I let go, it's time that I finally allow myself to really feel what's happening. Okay. I also see there is... Um, Maybe even some story, a story that you're writing about, or you're, you're creating a new narrative. You're letting your hair grow. Okay? You're allowing yourself to grieve, you guys. Some of you, your father's spirit is here. If your father is no longer present, okay, do you see your father's spirit? Do you see someone who is very much in love with you, okay? This is either a father figure, or this is someone who you may have been married to, or someone who played a role as a father, you guys, okay? I do feel this person is very, very, very powerful. They're very symbolic in your life, you guys. Okay, I do see they, they really took care of you here. Okay, but I don't know why there's grief, you guys. There's a lot of grief here. Take a moment. Take a moment. This person may have um, found you through your father. I don't know. I see some kind of connection through your father, you guys. I'm grieving. Okay, but take a moment. Take a moment, Taurus. Okay. With the number five, we do have religion here, philosophies. What is wrong and what is right? Balance, duality. Okay, let's see my Torians. Listen, I'm having a vision of this beautiful braid, you guys. It's a beautiful braid. Okay, you're weaving something new. You're starting to kind of bring something together. 
Okay. Whenever I see weaving or I see a braid, it's really symbolic of fertility, of loyalty. Okay. Okay, center beam, you guys. Wow. My loves. Forgiveness. We do have three of pentacles here. Okay. Listen, Taurus, some of you guys may have been, or there's some kind of fixed idea here. Okay. There is a fixed idea or fixed narrative around your life or around work. I almost feel this surrounds maybe even an unfairness or an injustice. You feel as if something was unfair to you. Okay, or something violated trust, or I, I don't know. Something here did not feel as if it, it didn't work in your favor, you guys. Okay, some of you may have trusted someone with information here. Okay, maybe there is some kind of information that you trusted. I do see people in your work environment, you guys, they really love you, they support you, they admire you. But it's almost as if a lot of you are saying, I'm done, I've had enough, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. Some of you may be fed up with what's happening, with, you know, what people are asking of you. Okay, you have a new opportunity coming up. Taurus, but this is about your sight and how you see it, okay? This is going to be how you see your connections, you guys, or how you see your perspective. It really, you know, what's coming to me is the mandala, okay, this tree of life, actively seeking a different uh, purpose or even a higher purpose here. Okay, so let's see, you guys. Opportunities are coming your way, you guys. What's going on here? What opportunities are coming towards you, my loves, my dear Torians? Taurus, the next two days, pay attention to even how the earth feels as you walk towards your destination or you walk home. Or even just your journey. How do your feet feel, you guys? How does Gaia speak to you this month? Okay, Aquarius season is all about breaking free from even your old, you know, lifestyle. Breaking free from old habits, old ways of thinking. Okay. Listen, Taurus. Some of you may be defending somebody at the end of the month. Some of you guys are very protective of your home environment. If you have a business at home, pay attention to what it is that you're protecting here. Okay, if you, you have some kind of business that you feel strongly about, okay, it's almost as if there's a bit of a wake-up call here, okay? I have to be honest, your heart, listen, your heart, you guys have such a big heart, you guys. There's nothing in this world that you wouldn't do for people. Okay? There's nothing in this world you wouldn't do for people, you guys. You guys are actively very, very protective of others. Okay? But I do see this month, it's almost as if things are starting to take shape. Who are you protecting? And is it protecting you? Is it protecting your business, you guys? Okay, Taurus. A lot of you may have this restlessness to kind of run away or you want to do something that jeopardizes your wealth. Please do not do things from a place of risk, my loves. Okay, 
We have the strength card here. We have Leo, the number eight. Okay, we do have Pluto very active. There's a change ahead, you guys, the next five days. Okay, the number five, we have the number eight here. Cycles, listen, you guys, we have karmic cycles, constant movement, constant shifting. This is my favorite card here. Okay. Look at this, my dear Taurus. Okay, it's like you're saying I'm, I'm making friends with my shadow, my shadow side. I'm making friends with that side of me that I, I can't really control sometimes. Okay, some of you are dealing with a Leo. You may have to tame your temptation to maybe even tell them how you feel. Okay, some of you want to have a really tough conversation this month in Aries, a Sag. Okay, but you're holding back. Okay, this is about your money, Taurus. Please don't lose sight of the goal here. I see a lot of amped up energy or this kind of restlessness or this, this desire to want to kind of provoke. Okay, but what, what's the goal here, Taurus? Don't forget, I do see your career path. It's shaky, okay? It's shaky here. So listen, you guys, divine guidance. We do have your 12th house again. Very powerful. I want you guys to look at your sign for your 12th house. The answer is there. Okay. What opportunities, you guys. You are strong this month. I want to remind you, Aquarius season is preparing you for your goals. And not just your goals ahead. Some of you are teaching a class. Some of you guys are really taking it upon yourself to go somewhere where you can start your own business, you guys. You're starting your own business or you're starting something new from, you know, it's it's completely, completely a blank slate. However... I don't know, is it worth it, Taurus? Some of you guys may be fighting for something here. Is it worth it? And are you able to see people differently? There's something around taking on a very multi-dimensional perspective. And you guys are incredibly realistic. There's nothing about Taurus that doesn't, you know, take a moment to reflect and say, wow, that could be different. Okay? Because the truth is, you guys are really, really profound. You're reflective. You're progressive. You guys are constantly in a state of, I am. You're futuristic. You're, you're you know, there's so much around your dreams this month, you guys. Aquarius. You are dedicated to your goals. You're dedicated to the people around you. But there's there's a major lesson here around the way you see people or the way maybe even you're seeing this person. Okay, this is a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces. For others, there's a Sagittarius here. Okay, is it worth it, you guys? This is the biggest, biggest um, highlight here. Is it worth it? Okay, the moon is showing you that your dreams are also guiding you to find some kind of completion here. Okay, are you able to, you know, really kind of make peace with the past? Okay. Some of you, this has to do with children. I see a lot of the topics of children. Okay, children or your innocence. You guys, the gift of prophecy, you guys are awakening. Okay, listen, your clairvoyance or some of you, your psychic abilities are really strong this month, you guys. Aquarius season. Okay, gifting you compromise. Please also listen, you guys, honor your, your deities this month, honor your ancestors. They do want to connect with you, or even something around. Um, the median, the middle world, okay? Pay attention to what's happening with balance. Are you able to keep balance? It doesn't matter where, you know, what spectrum. 
are you able to keep balance? Are you guys, you know, um, it doesn't matter whether you're Christian, whether you're, you know, practicing some kind of diabolic, um, you know, sorcery here, but something around balance. Okay, so let's see, you guys. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, let's talk about love. Listen, you guys have a very big change. Okay, there's a change of career path here for you. The next three days, there's something really beautiful about this. Okay, some of you may have to let go of the idea of protecting someone here, Taurus. Okay, you are protecting someone here at work, or you're protecting their image, which is absolutely wonderful. But there's a double-edged sword here. Someone here is not being honest with you. Okay, and it doesn't mean, it, it's coming from a water sign, you guys. Maybe a Sag Venus, I do see a lot of Sagittarius here. Okay. There's something about your eyes. Okay, pay attention to your eyes and even the color. Well, maybe even you talk to this person. I do see some of you guys have asked this person. Um, I do see coffee. I do see dinner. I do see, you know, a lot of events here or, or just spaces where you guys, where you guys can chat. Oh my gosh, you are ready to go. Look at this. You're saying, I'm done. I'm done with this. I've had enough. I know what I'm worth. Okay. Yes, you guys. You are taking this, this, you know, it's almost as if you're saying, that's it. I'm getting in my car and I'm, I'm heading out. Okay. You have this confident energy this month, despite your pain, you guys. Okay, despite your pain, you are confident, you're focused, there's so much here for you. Okay, there's this beautiful, beautiful energy around Gaia supporting you. You do have travel ahead the next five days, okay? It's really promising. Okay, so... Look at this, you guys. There's so much around your ancestors. They want to tell you. You have roses here growing around your feet. You have roses growing around the soles of your feet, you guys. Okay? And travel. There's this confident change. So despite you're doing a lot of this in the background, I want you to hold space for you know, the opportunity. There's new life here, you guys. So yes, I'm really excited for you. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's talk about love, shall we? This is going to be a sudden change. You guys are a sudden shift here. You see how packed this person is? Okay, it's like you're throwing all your stuff in the car and you're saying, that's it, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm, I gotta go. Okay, you're kind of throwing everything in and you're saying, that's it, I am out of here. Some of you, there's a scarf here, your spirit guides are encouraging. Taking a scarf with you. Okay, it's a yellow scarf for some of you or for others. There's something around confidence in your voice. Please don't leave without speaking your truth. Someone here doesn't. They can't really, it's almost as if they don't really understand what's what's happening, okay? Some of you, your boss wants to understand or people around you want to understand the story. They want to understand what's happening, Taurus. Okay, so speak your truth into existence, you guys. Your dreams, my loves, feathers. 
the color red. Okay. This is all around your security, my loves. You are transforming. Okay, you are flying. I want you to know, listen, everything that's happening here this month, it's meant to be, okay? You are right where you're supposed to be. Okay, let's talk about love. You guys, please wear a piece of garnet so this transition in order to feel a bit more grounded with this this um, transformation here. Okay, I do see a bit of lightness around the feet. Maybe, you know, add some meat into the diet or uh, fruits that are red. Anything that embodies your, your uh, root chakra energy, your sense of stability. Okay, it'll amplify a lot of your, your drive and ambition if you guys have been feeling tired. Let's talk about love, Taurus. Let's see. Let's talk about love, you guys. Broken promises you promised me. If someone here is upset, you guys. We do have a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Listen, a water sign is really, really powerful here. If you're working with your spouse, if you're working with someone that you love, if you're working with, you know, anyone here that you're dating or there's some kind of crossing of the line here, okay, there's a bit of some, I, I do see challenges, you guys, around commitment, around promises, okay? So pay attention to your words. Your words are golden, Taurus. Your words are really powerful. They really measure a lot of... I, I feel people are actually measuring how powerful your words are. Like, what are you saying? And how it's being said. Hey, believe it or not, people are almost reaching for you. They're saying, Taurus, can you save me? Okay. <laughs> Taurus, can you save me if you guys are counselors? Let's talk about love. Let's see, you guys. Yes, you guys. You have an unexpected meeting here with the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you guys are meeting in Aquarius, Libra. I do see a very powerful air sign. This person... They are very um, attracted to you, Taurus, three days, okay? There's something about this season, you guys. Aquarius season is very demanding of freedom, of um, becoming more, it almost seems as if it's challenging your beliefs in terms of your faith, Taurus. Okay, it's challenging a lot of your even your center, your identity, your ability to um, kind of step into this world and say, this is who I am. If you guys have been on the fence in terms of your sexuality, okay, this is, this is a time where things are revealing itself to you. If there's peace around this or there's some kind of, some of you guys are, are kind of making some room here. You're coming to terms with your life, you guys, in love, okay? You have an Aries here. My dear Taurus, this person, something around rings? Yes, you guys, rings with the Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you broken promises. Okay, a lot of you may have turned your back on your twin flame or you're, you're kind of done when it comes to your twin flame or you're over something here. Some of you may not want to deal with something here, some kind of closure. Okay, with the seven of swords in reverse. There's dishonesty, but it's being revealed through destiny. Someone thought they could 
keep something from you, you guys. If you guys are married, okay, someone thought they could maybe keep something from, from you. And now it's revealed, you guys. And it does have to do with money, or it does have to do with transition, or even your destiny. In Aquarius, this person has been trying to keep you kind of in a wheel, or they're trying to force you into some kind of love um, situation, a love triangle. Will you be mine? Okay. Or in Aries, you guys. Someone here does not want to let go. They're being a little pushy. Okay. They're, they're saying you're a part of my destiny. You're a part of my destiny. Okay. Wow. Guys. There's someone here that you've known for the last six months, Taurus. Some of you guys, this is a Cancer Moon or a Cancer Sun, okay? You may have wondered, what's going on with this person? What happened to our love? What happened to our, our loving connection here? This is coming right back, you guys, full circle. You guys will hear from this person in about three days. Some of you, there is um, either an Aquarius or an air sign around you. They don't, it's like they're trying to stop you from dating. They don't want you to date or they are, there's some kind of rumors here. I, I do see Mercury, very strong placement around Mercury. Or someone who's um, provoking some kind of This person, there's competition here. Some of you, this person may not want you to date someone because they want this person, okay? So be aware of friendships right now as well in love, you guys. I do see this is a big part of your destiny. Wow, Taurus. Fool me once, fool me twice, you guys, yes. Okay, let's talk about love. Okay, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Listen, my loves, if you're trying to work on a relationship with a water sign, I do see two different doors here. Okay, one door that reconciles differences. But listen, my spirit guides are really showing me balance or karmic balance around this relationship. Okay, it's important to take on some kind of approach here that brings duality or it brings flexibility for both of you. This person may not want to see your offer. Someone here may not want to see your offer, my loves, as much as it looks, you know, beautiful, as much as, you know, you, you can really dress it up here. You can really just create something beautiful here and offer it to someone this week. But listen, this is about your boundaries. You guys, this is also about setting your boundaries, saying I'm worthy of love. I'm worthy of more. I'm worthy of, you know, love that reciprocates okay this is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn yes you guys please don't rush don't rush love this week some of you guys may be anxious you're trying to rush love or you want to get ahead in love you're worried that you're going to lose somebody okay you guys, my Tauruses. Yes, you guys, some of you, there's a grandmother coming through here. A grandmother with um, 
a color uh, red of a bracelet. There's something around a red necklace or a red bracelet, you guys. There's this beautiful message around red. Okay. There's something around compromising, you guys. Please compromise this, this month with your beloveds. It's important to see things differently. Some of you may have lost something very important during your childhood. Okay, and this is attaching itself to your love life. Okay, you fight for love, Taurus. You guys are very, very powerful when it comes to fighting for your partners. You guys stay, or you guys are very committed. Okay, you're very, stay for a lack of a better word here, but you're very committed to your relationships and your partnerships. Okay. But this is also about seeing your, your self-esteem, okay? Your grandmother may have um, shared a poem with you. I'm having a vision here of a poem. Poetry or words. Okay, please don't forget the poetry. Please don't forget the words. Please do not forget the importance of your love, okay? Your love, your heart. This comes first. You do have a new beginning here. Okay, there's a beautiful new beginning. We have Aries, Aquarius. Some of you guys want to take a risk here. You want to start over. Please take your time, you guys. Or someone here wants to elope here. They're saying, let's get married. Okay, jacket edges. Is it worth it, you guys? Is it worth it? Take your time. Okay, take your time. Listen, you have other people who really want to date you or they really like you. Okay, or they really, um, there's something about kind of watching you to wait to see if you're single yet. Or, yeah, someone here has been watching you. Okay, someone with the name of D, L. For others, you may be waiting for this person to um, maybe even, you know, um, become free, or you're waiting for this person to leave their their partner. Okay, take your time, you guys. Something around paying attention. Okay, pay attention to your grandmother's story. Do not leave behind your, your ancestors. Okay, yes, my Torians, listen. This beautiful balloon, listen, there's something around letting go. Letting go of the idea of love being so fixed. You guys, Aquarius challenges this in such a beautiful manner where it just really unravels your natural, your natural strengths in love. Some of you are getting married at the end of the month with Virgo here. Okay, Taurus and Virgo, congratulations. I do see an engagement. Okay, for others, you have a secret crush here. There's a Virgo who's very, very much in love. Okay, so let's see. Wow, you guys, what's the outcome here, you guys? Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. There's a temptation to go back to someone here, Taurus. Some of you guys may want to go back to a next partner. Okay, a Pisces, a Leo, a Sag. Okay, there's something about the adrenaline. Maybe there's a lot of adrenaline here. There's this adventure. There's fun here. You guys are restless to find love that feels freeing or you want to be you want to be set free, okay? This person will not be able to commit to you at the end of the month, you guys. Okay? I do see someone who is very, um, they love you, Taurus. They love spending time with you. But the thought of commitment with you, okay? I, I just, I don't see this really working. Okay? 
this person may want to be very free during this time. They may want to completely let go. Okay, but I do see it. you can reconcile and maybe experience some kind of, uh, they want to teach you how to have some kind of spiritual experience with them. I do see a lot of art, and they're very spiritual here. Okay, but they don't, yeah, they're having a hard time committing to you, you guys, and you're so worthy of commitment. You're so worthy of something more, okay? The number eight, we have death and rebirth. Yes, you guys, very beautiful, major ending. Okay, let's see, angelic guidance. Jade, you guys, please wear jade. This has been a very powerful stone this month, you guys. Okay, let's see. Yes, your advice. Yes, you guys, free yourself, you guys. Free yourself from conditions at the end of the month. Okay, free yourselves. And also, kind of, um, there's something around cords, you guys. Is it necessary to keep these cords? Or is it necessary to keep memories? Is it necessary to keep the, the photographs? Okay, Archangel Michael, cutting the cords to any sexual connections you guys may have had. It's really important to cleanse, you guys. If there are any cords to exes or anyone that you guys have been intimate with, with this Ace of Wands here, please cleanse before you um, start a new relationship. Um, I do see a lot of uh, yellow herbs here. Okay, there's a correlation to Archangel Michael. Okay, Kalindula. We have um, Vervain or Verbana. I do see also something that starts with the GA. Okay, my spirit guides are showing me GA here. So look it up, you guys. Um, I'll, I'll link it below if I finish channeling the, the um, words here, you guys. I've been practicing my channeling. Okay, but cleanse, you guys. Cleanse the mind, body, spirit. This is a good time before you start a new path in love and you will have it. You do have an opportunity for a long-term relationship at the end of the month, Taurus. Caution around rushing. I have to be honest. Both of you guys will want this. You can feel the intensity. You want, you want, you want. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I want a commitment. I want a partner. But it's the earth that really shows you where you are. Don't forget to really ground your feet into the roots, you guys. Really put your, your soles of your feet on the land and understand your love from a place of a tree, okay? You are becoming this tree. But if you guys never stop, there's something I have to tell you. If you guys don't ever take a moment, Okay, take a moment, my loves. Okay, I see it's almost as if there's a repetition of a cycle. Okay, and um, wow, you guys. Yeah, my uh, my first astrologist. You know she um, she's wonderful. And she made a really good point. Not every karmic partner, not every karmic lesson is necessary to you know take on. So keep that in mind, okay? I love you. I love you guys.